question. I think let me uh, give a, a couple of points. The first one, I think it is stipulated in our law that the maximum budget deficit is 3%. So if a new president would like to uh, come up with a new policy that the budget deficit is higher than 3%, they have to amend the law. It means that they need to get an approval from the parliament. So this is uh, another political process. That's the first one. The second one, I think in not only in Indonesia, in every country all over the world, especially in the emerging developing economies, uh, we learned from the pandemic that we need an expansion of the budget deficit due to the issue of the pandemic, the health issue, the education, to protect the vulnerable groups, the climate issue. So uh, I think it will be very difficult to say that there should be a trade-off between vulnerable to give allocate a budget for the vulnerable groups or for the climate, etc. So the solution in this case is not to choose or to allocate budget to social protection, but the solution is to increase the government revenue. And I have to say that in Indonesia, the tax ratio to GDP is very low. It's about 9 to 10%. I think whoever become a president need to increase the tax ratio to GDP. And one way to do it is by doing the reform in administrative reform in the tax office. So uh, the way I look at the situation, whoever become a president, because we have to wait for the result in tomorrow, I think they will come up with the same policy. They need to maintain the fiscal sustainability, the macro stability. And if they want to expand the budget, the solution would be to increase the tax revenue. Okay, Papa, I understood. Uh, but I, I, I doubt you're talking about individual income taxes. You're probably talking about corporate taxes and, and other taxes as well. Would this not theoretically, though, at least, make Indonesia less competitive regionally as well as globally? Well, I'm not suggesting that we increase the, the tax rate. What we can do is to improve the administrative system. The admin, we do the administrative reform. So let me give an example. By definition, uh, GDP is the sum of the value added, right? Our VAT is about 11%. So by definition, it's supposed to be 11% of GDP. But the, the fact is our total tax revenue to GDP is only 9%. It shows that the problem is too many exemptions. So if the government try to reduce the coverage of exemption, they can increase the tax revenue quite substantially. The second thing is the government provide the tax expenditure of tax ex, uh, incentive to GDP is about 1.6%. And we haven't seen really the impact of this tax incentive. So if the government try to select, to review whether this tax incentive is uh, appropriate or not, is effective or not, the government can increase the tax revenue significantly without raising the tax rate.